welcome back um so today i am doing a video on for either back to school people or moms or someone who needs to just have a very quick simple out the door look um it's really only using um maybelline color tattoo eyeshadows and then one other eyeshadow these things are awesome and they're like the number one thing that i just say for people to get if you listen to me i talk about the naked palette a lot from urban decay and i talk about these eyeshadows a lot i just think they're awesome they wear really well they have great color the color bad to the bronze is what i'm doing the look with today super easy for anyone so this is just a if i were not talking through it it would probably take me five minutes to just do this makeup quick out the door easy everyday look so if you're interested in seeing how i got this look then just go ahead and stay tuned i am going to use this uh i would for a really quick application just use a bb cream this one from maybelline i found when I got it in the darker shade uh, it's a really great coverage for me just for every day so if you're a mom just running out of the house um, I would just do a little concealer and that BB cream um, today I'm going to do a little bit more coverage so I'm going to be using my Revlon um, whipped foundation in 200 sand beige but first I'm going to just go ahead and start off with a concealer you know if you're a mom you really need to like you probably have bags under your eyes so I'm just gonna start out and do dots right like this under my eye I've already done this eye so um, I am using Maybelline mineral power concealer um, I really like it's the natural perfecting concealer and the color I am in is fair if I'm looking up behind me, it's because that's where my mirror is, so. So just go ahead and drag that. You can drag some of it over your eyelid to use as a base if you'd like. Just go ahead and cover that. Blend it out to the rest of my face. Around my nose. Just wherever you're having some discolor is discolored discoloration I always want to say discolorization I don't know that doesn't make sense but another one I really like to use dream Lumi from Maybelline and radiant um, it's like a salmon color and just brighten my under eyes but that concealer that I used from Maybelline is pretty it's pretty light so um, it's doing a lot of brightening up my face today okay I'm going to go in with my Revlon foundation just scoop a little bit on my finger and just kind of touch really on my, and on my chin under my nose and then I'm just going to go ahead since this is a light application I'm just going to rub it in with my hands like in a hurry I like to do a very natural look and I like to use a bronzer one thing that I have found that I feel like is a good for a good deal is this uh, from NYC color wheel mosaic face powder in rose glow it's got like bronze and gold and everything and highlight all in one and just it just gives your face a really pretty natural glow so I'm just gonna warm up my cheeks I'm just using an eco tools brush but just go ahead and warm up your face just warms up your complexion all those colors mixed together um, and it's just really easy to not have to worry about bronzer and blush uh, this is like an all-in-one step and when I'm in a hurry I need an all-in-one step right I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of Maybelline baby lips just to kind of lay down a little bit of color and moisture on my lips I love this one this is in the fruit punch or pink punch or whatever I love this one it smells like fruit punch and you can see it gives a pretty decent color to your lips so I really really like these um, the peach one is a, a more neutral color but this is just like a real pop color so anyways and they're really moisturizing they have SPF in them so it's a really great thing to just throw on these Maybelline tattoo color tattoos the number one question that I get asked by every single one of my friends or anyone who realizes like now that I'm into makeup I don't know if it was a secret before but now that I'm kind of like out in the open with this YouTube channel I have a lot more people asking me questions so which I love I love to answer the questions but my number one question is is what product do you recommend for people who are in a hurry okay the number one product that I recommend are these Maybelline color tattoos um, 
specifically the color bad to the bronze that's what I'm using in the look today but I also like this color in bold gold um, these are cream eyeshadows this is bold gold here's the swatch of it they make the perfect base for there's bold gold on my hand and you can layer these or you can just use them you know you can put use them as your shadow or as a base this is bad to the bronze here it is in the pot here it is swatched on my hand you can see those are two very different colors um, these are just the best eyeshadows they stay all day you don't need a primer with them you can sweep them on your lid you could use them under your eyeshadow you can use them in place as your eyeshadow which is what I'm gonna do in the look today um, this is just a really quick and easy you can use your finger um, just a really quick and easy way to get out the door so just dip a little bit get a little bit of product on your finger use your ring finger and just place go ahead and place that on your lid I'm going to go up into the crease um, and these I'm using my finger because it, it warms the product up and it makes it creamier they are very creamy anyways and for these cream products make sure that you store them like this so that um, and keep them closed really tight so that they don't dry these out. Maybelline eyeshadows are great they are five dollars so at most places target and most places you can find them for five dollars right now they have some limited edition shades that i'm finding hard to find but i'm sure you all could find them you but can build it up to whatever opaqueness that you would like do one more layer and kind of pat it on more on the center of my lid if i were not talking this would be done in like a second flat so it's a really quick and easy way to do a look in the morning and look put together okay so next I'm gonna go in with this matte eyeshadow I think everyone should have a matte eyeshadow in their collection and this is in a nude shade and it's from wet n wild these are 99 cents it's in brulee which is just a matte cream color and I'm just gonna take this brush from Walmart and put it up on your brow bone so just go ahead and put that up on your brow bone and use it just to blend any from the shadow, the bad to the bronze. Go back in with bad to the bronze and use this flat, um, it's a, it says it's a concealer brush, but I'm just using a flat top brush or a flat brush, shader brush, and I'm just dragging it and kind of smoking it out under my eye like this. And then if you want to just go in and tap a little bit more of that product on your actual eyelid to build I it. I am taking these L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. This one is an ice latte. It's just a really great highlight shade. Ooh, I, that was like double swatch, so hang on. It's a really great highlight shade. Um, I'm just going to stick this just on the very upper part of my brow bone and then the inner tear duct right here that just really brightens up your eyes these are like pressed pigments and they're extremely um, creamy and like it's not like a powder form it's different than that um, but these are these are great I love these L'Oreal infallible shades so I like that ice latte one so I just put it up under here and then in the inner corner Okay, next I'm going to go in with this NYX um, brown eyeliner in Brown Perfection. These are those slide on, glide on, stay on. And I'm just going to use that all over the upper lid. And you can kind of do it a little bit messily. I'm not doing anything fancy. And then I'm running it in my waterline. My eyebrow looks crazy. Try and get it as close to the lash line as possible and a little bit thicker towards the outside and thinner towards And then the I'm going to go in with a little angled shader brush and just kind of use that to like pull around. These are very creamy, but they set fast, so you kind of have to work fast. But I'm just going to kind of smoke that out towards my lash line. 
and then curl your lashes. And I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Colossal Express. I really like it. Uh, and I feel like it gives good volume. The tip right here, and I drag that out like this. Um, and then go back in like this. And then just put a little bit on the bottom, depending on what you like. And then now you can either you just stick with this pink punch. Um, or you can put on a different lipstick. I think I'm just going to stick with the pink punch. I was going to put on this pink pearl pop from MAC, um, which is almost a similar color, but let's put a little bit of that over it. If you don't like lipstick, then this, these baby lips are a great option from Maybelline oh, for you. That is the finished look. Um, and then depending on how you want to wear your to hair. look really put together, this is second day hair for me. I just had it back in a bun. Um, but if I wanted to look really, look at my lion hair. So if I wanted to look really put together, I would do something like a braid where I would put dry shampoo. Does this look like my, this is like super white right here or gray. Maybe I am having issues with my dry shampoo. Anyways, I would put a little dry shampoo or some like texture spray and then just kind of wrap this around. Start right over here maybe. Pull a piece out like this. Do a twist. Twisting two pieces of hair around. And then I would just pull it around here, twist, twist, and just do a very messy side braid. Tie it up. Then you can kind of just adjust it, pull out some pieces if you want to curl this or whatnot. But this will be just like a very quick and easy get ready out the door look for me. My kids are going to be starting school soon, so I needed something that I can get them all dressed, then get me dressed and out the door and still looking like semi-decent where I don't show up and look like I'm doing the walk of shame or something. Okay, so this is the final look, and uh, if you guys have any other video requests, I would love to know. Uh, this was just kind of one that I came up with on my own. I don't know if anyone necessarily requested it, but I did have a lot of people who were asking me what would be a very quick, everyday look that a mom could do and get out the door. Um, I tried to use a lot of drugstore products. I did... I think I did use mainly drugstore products, so you could find all these things at your drugstore, so... Um, anyways, so this is a really simple look, and even if you were going back to school, this would be a great back-to-school look as well. So here's the final look.